Hello, it's Shaken Bacon. It's me, Cassie Fratz. And I have this really fun concept for like a video series where I take a random object in my household and create a piece inspired by that. <laughs> and the object of the day is this grinder. I like it because it has a little crown and it's a skull. And I like drawing skulls. So I'm gonna sketch out a few concepts and do a full-blooded illustration inspired by this grinder. Isn't it cool this little <laughs> crown comes off? This is just a close-up of the grinder so you guys can see all of its characteristics and see where the inspiration is coming from. I sketched out a couple of thumbnail ideas just because I know I should be doing thumbnails more often so I'm trying to get in the habit of doing them and if I show you guys the process maybe that will make me more inclined to do it. It's just kind of tedious you know when you feel inspired you want to start the drawing off. So here's my thumbnail ideas. I thought like maybe some fire or sun, but I like roses. So I settled on the roses because that's just what I like doing. I'm in my roses era. At first I thought I would go with some more traditional looking roses. But as I was sketching it out, I didn't feel as though it was complementing the style of the skull. So... After I was finished tweaking out the skull, I went in and changed the style of the roses, which I much prefer. Originally, I was going to do this drawing in gouache, but I decided I should be working more on my pen and ink. So I grabbed whatever pens I had to, and started inking this bad boy out. I'm using my Faber-Castell pit pens, which are my favorite, and I have a 1.5, and that's what I'm using right here for the outline. Next, I'm just using some calligraphy pens I got off Amazon because they were a good deal. I like the line weight of these. The nibs are a little bit scratchy, though. They're, they're like C plus, B minus pens. I'm not the best at pen and ink. And because of this fact, I try not to invest much in pens so that I could practice with lower quality supplies and not spend a lot of money on that I don't have to spend a lot of money on supplies when the illustration isn't going to be up to par with what I want. And this way I don't feel afraid of actually working with the pens. I can make my mistakes and not feel like I'm wasting money or high quality supplies. I actually have some Sharpie pens laying around, those Sharpie fine liners that I want to try using more so I can get better at the pen and ink but this is all <laughs> I got for now. What are your guys' favorite type of pens to work with? I know you. a lot of people use uh, the Sakura Microns. I think they're okay. They're a little expensive for my blood. If I'm going to invest in high quality art supplies, I tend to lean into more of paint. That's where I want to invest my money in as opposed to pens. I think it's just because I'm heavy handed so I ruin the nibs quite often which is why I like my pit pens by Faber-Castell. I might invest in some more of these because they're my favorite so far. I've been drawing for years so I've been purchasing different types of pens and for me I just don't see the, I don't feel like getting good pens is good investment just because I'm not the best at this sort of style. I'm trying to challenge myself though, so I'm using my pens more and more each day. I like the way you could get a lot of textures in with the pens. Here I am, I'm just adding in some like flourishing to the skull drawing because I thought it looked really boring and I wanted more like 
oomph on it. I was trying to take inspiration from those black and white skull drawings or skull tattoo drawings you see all the time. I follow a lot of tattoo artists and I really enjoy their work. So I was taking a lot of inspiration from that. I'm not the best at this style, so you see me a lot pausing, trying to think of what to do with these. I'm just trying to figure out what I like working, what I like doing in my pen and ink works. So th this is all experimentation. I don't feel like this drawing is necessarily the best thing I've ever done. It's one of my weaker works, but I had fun doing it and I learned a lot. So I think that counts for a lot more than whether if I made something pretty looking. I didn't really have a plan for this, which might be why it sort of came out kind of caca. But I originally thought it'd be fun to ink it and then go in with color pencil but I do color pencil all the time and I wanted to try something different so I broke out um, the pens and this is the results. I'm using a Micron, I think it's 0 .05. I, I broke the nib off this after. Don't tell, don't tell anybody. That I had in my pencil case for years and I decided to add more flourishing and more lines with that. I'm really happy with how I did the eyeballs because they have a lot of texture, they're really dark, and after I did that, I thought it'd be a great idea to do a bunch of stippling with this half-broken, tiny little nib. And let me tell you something. This is where everything went downhill, because I know I keep talking about how I'm not very proud of this work, and it doesn't look like it has the best craftsmanship, but once I started doing the stippling, man, I just, this is where it all started to crumble. I could have saved it, but I thought I'd do stippling with a tiny little nib, and I hate doing stippling. It takes forever. You gotta like take breaks, pause, see it from far away, look at it close, and it, it's just very, very, very tedious, and I don't find it fun to do, but I'm trying to challenge myself. I'm trying to think bigger, get my horizons bigger, and... I thought I'd do it, but it turns out okay. It takes freaking forever. Maybe I'm being hard on myself because I didn't enjoy the process of this. It's not that I'm looking at it as I'm recording the audio. I'm like, oh, that looks really nice the way I did everything before the stippling. And I feel like the stippling just totally changed the vibe of this. I do have other paintings and illustrations on my channel that I like much better. I did a symbol recently in gouache and oil pastel, so if you want to check that out and subscribe, that'd be super duper awesome and cool of you. If not, I understand. <laughs> What do you guys think of stippling? Do you find it as tedious and clenching as I do? Let me know your opinions on that in the comments below. And here's just a little progress of the stippling. Cause it was it was taking forever. I I made this like an hour long illustration into like a seven hour long illustration because of the stippling. I just I can't can't do it. I did add more flourishing and texture to the crown because I thought the way I did the eyes were cool and then I did some texture on the roses which looks okay. Way better than stippling. Not my uh, best work but I still had fun doing this. I might work on my roses more to see how I like doing them in pen and ink. 
I might have been grinding my teeth throughout this because I didn't like the choices I made, but now I know more about what I like about pen and ink and what I want to do in pen and ink. So I learned a lot, even though I don't think this is the prettiest of my pieces. I'm glad I did it. So here is a couple of close-up shots of the finished piece. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you later, Gators.